Jim, our next question, sent the corny drive through at gmail.com from Michelle. Around three years ago, I had no idea who you were. Ha! You were brought into my life by my boyfriend, who is a huge fan. He loves listening to your podcast, and I would listen with him. When we were in the car together, or if he was listening in the house. Because of listening to your podcast, I've become more interested in wrestling, especially the history of wrestling, and have occasionally watched a pay-per-view. We have recently gotten engaged, and I would love a quote to add to my vows from you. <laughs> so, if, <laughs> so if you have any available time to give me your thoughts on love or relationships that I could share with him on our wedding day, that would be wonderful. Well, and, and what was her name again? Michelle. Michelle, first of all, congratulations, Michelle, you and your unnamed boyfriend. And I think, you know, the, the thing you got to think of is just remember this. After the ceremony and after the wedding night, the next day, the next morning, when the sun comes up and the birds are chirping and you roll over in your new marital bed and your husband, your new husband stretches and says, Honey, I feel like a new man. All you got to say is, so do I. No, don't say that. That's horrible advice. And it's for her wedding vows. What are you saying? <laughs> I know. Put the motherfucker in his place as quick as you can. In front of his whole Establish family? Establish in front of his whole... Well, what is his whole family doing watching him wake up from their fucking wedding night? Well, what kind of goddamn family is this? No, these are from the fucking Alabama, or what's going the, on here? Well, maybe, but these are the vows. These are the vows in front of everyone. I would oh, I, I, I don't know about the vows in front of everyone. I, you know, if I were you, Michelle, considering what your fiance probably looks like, I'd probably, I'd, I'd marry in secret. Maybe do it online. And that way, nobody can take any pictures. If later on, if you change your mind, there's no proof it happened. There's a great episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm where. Larry and his wife Cheryl are going to renew their vows, a very popular thing amongst people. And they're writing their vows, and he says, I plan to love you until death, and she wants it to say, for all eternity. And he's saying, I kind of thought it was till death, and then I get to start over and do something else. <laughs> <laughs> and she was a little upset about that. But what do you think? Is it till well, death? Well, he, Michelle, you should love him until the end of time. And now you're praying for the end of time to hurry up and arrive, because if I got to spend another minute with you, I don't think I could barely survive. I'll never break my promise or forget my vow, but God only knows I could die right now. Praying for the end of time is all that I can do. Ooh, ooh praying for the end of time <laughs> so I can end my time with you. How many people in that church or wherever this may be <laughs> or the steeple open up the church and see all the people how many people will recognize these lyrics and understand what is going on if she doesn't recognize the lyrics and she i just don't know I, it's not my fault you ask for wisdom if you're not smart enough to fucking uh pick up no michelle we wish all of you people the very best in whatever your future endeavors are do you have any advice for michelle and her boyfriend about the internet well, you know, I do come to think of it because, you know, we've been having problems with the Internet, not only the Spectrum folks, but also just any Internet service provider. We've been talking about this and a lot of people are picking up on this now. You know, folks, if you're laying in bed at night in the middle of the dark, it's pitch black, you're alone in your home, you live alone, you're lonely and you hear voices. You really are hearing voices. You're not crazy. These voices are coming from inside your wall. Oh, not this again. No, As they're not. Well, no. No. Well, now we proved, because remember, I was whispering the other day. We didn't prove anything. We proved. And the thing is, is that they're keeping an eye on you. They're in, just If you're laying awake right now listening to us, you're home alone, take a hatchet, an axe, a small claw hammer. Don't do that. And pop a couple of holes in your wall and stick your ear in there. You will hear people talking about you. And I'll tell you another bad thing. Bad idea. A bad idea you will regret. Do not do that. I'll tell you another a bad idea. Bad idea. You sound like a, a spoil sport, a killjoy of Mr. Buzzkill. Here's something else. <laughs> Here's something else that they're doing out there. Do you know that there's a way around 
having to watch the uh the old WWE network on our friends Mr. Peacock. You know that they still have the WWE network available for other countries. And this is one of those hacks that the kids talk about. Do you know if you change your country that you can actually still access the WWE network and there ain't a dead gum thing anybody can do about it? Were you aware of this? I've heard some things. I didn't see this in the copy here for ExpressVPN, but I've heard about some things. Well, yes. no, but they're talking about something else. Apparently the Netflix is the same way. They got all kinds of shows on Netflix that are only available outside of the U.S. Because, of course, we are we're a downtrodden country. And it, you, you basically, you don't get, if you're an American, you don't get to see all the things you could see. But you know how you fix that? Our friends at ExpressVPN. Now, as a matter of fact, Ron DeShane alerted me to something. You remember our friend Ron, Ron DeShane? I remember a name Rhonda, yes. Well, he is actually a, an ExpressVPN customer. And due to their fine service, he was able to do what you wouldn't do here not long ago. He wrote me and he said, Jim, thanks to ExpressVPN and their wonderful product, I was able to Google, is sheep fucking legal in Japan, with almost zero consequences. Not a single federal agent has arrived at my house, no sheep porn has popped up on my computer, and aside from a few ads for sheep shears, gloves with extra grip support, and airfare to Japan, my computer is absolutely fine. I did notice that my favorite podcast was named Sheep Shed, but I'll assume that's just a strange coincidence. So please let Brian know that next time you ask him to Google something of that nature, all he has to do is fire up the Express VPN and Google to his heart's content, knowing oh, yeah. that the answers to your burning questions about Japanese bestiality laws are at his fingertips. Please let Rhonda know that by the time this show airs, we're going to alert the authorities to this sicko out there. To an well, but Jenny won't Google. be able to find him. What a freak. We'll find him. Because the people, the people, they think because of ExpressVPN, everybody thinks that he's living in, in Guadalajara or Bolivia or somewhere. We will help the authorities find this man. You can't. You can't. That's how ExpressVPN is working this whole scam. Well, we can help. You can't say we can't See, help. No, the, yeah, the thing is, folks, if you want to watch the WWE Network and they say it's only available in Venezuela, guess what? Boom, you can move to Venezuela. You want to watch Netflix and all the stuff they're hiding from us God-fearing Americans? Boom, you can tell them people that you live on the Isle of Malta. What ExpressVPN does, it encrypts you. It encrypts you, and that's not... A, I thought at first that was a bad thing. I thought that was being enclosed in a concrete mausoleum. But apparently I, I was incorrect about that. It, if you're encrypted, that means that your data is not easily available. It can't just be willy-nilly spread about by these, these frivolous and promiscuous... ISP people that are living inside your walls. And ExpressVPN is going to reroute you through a server location of your choice. That means you can go anywhere in the world for free. If you've ever wanted to live on a uh, and the South Seas of France, boom! You've got an boom address. What? No, you no, that's not uh, how it works. No. Well, how did, do they do they pay for the transport of all your worldly possessions to wherever you want to move to? Or do they just send you there and you've got to drag your shit with you? There is no moving. You won't be moving. The customer potentially won't be moving. Well, it says you can choose from over 90 different countries. That your internet would be based out of. That your... Uh... Well, ISP if, you're, if, you're sitting there, well, if you're sitting there watching your internet, you got to be there along with it. So I assume that they're they're taking you and your computer and potentially your most comfortable chair, and they're going to send you to goddamn Bolivia. Well, for the record, just let the listeners know there's no travel involved with ExpressVPN. Well, to, but to get to watch the network and Netflix, anyway, here's the best part. 
It's not just for that. You can use ExpressVPN to unlock shows or sports on other streaming services. You can basically, you can hack into anything here. The, the moon launch they're about to do, I bet you you can hop onto the fucking screen from NASA. Just as a matter of fact, put your address in, moon, and see what happens. Look, there's a reason why ExpressVPN is the number one rated VPN provider by publishers like Tech Radar and The Verge. I don't know what that reason is, but there's a reason, and we're going to find out sooner or later. But right now, if you want to put something over on somebody, and if you want to impersonate yourself living in a place that you don't in order to get services that are not supposed to be coming to you, well, goddamn ExpressVPN will fix you right up. And right now, if you go to expressvpn.com slash JCE, you're going to get three extra months of service for free. Expressvpn.com slash JCE. You're going to learn more. You're going to get three extra months of service for free just because you know me. And in three months, who knows where the hell you might be living by the time that they get finished with you. But you'll be seeing some fine internet. You'll be wherever you want to be, because by getting finished with you, they will be leaving you alone to do whatever you want. What? Did I just blow your mind? Are you all right over there? <laughs> by getting finished with you, they will be leaving you alone. They'll never leave you alone. They're they always going to protect. They're going to protect you, and they're going to have you covered as long as you take advantage of their service and they're going to put you where they in their wisdom believe you need to be to be best protected which will be wherever now, you want to be this, no well you, no sometimes let's say you no. want to be somewhere <laughs> and they say no no it's dangerous somebody might hack into your goddamn google there and 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 wrote them motor your route them or whatever the fuck <laughs> this, this you need to do. be over <laughs> here you need to be in Iceland, where we can take care of you and keep an eye on you, or maybe Greenland or Scotland. Again, I think we need to stress there's no travel involved. You're not being promised any travel. You will not be transported to any. Oh, no, you're, you're being routed through there. Yes. So, so you're going to end up somewhere. So if you're going through there, you might <laughs> no. stop and say hello. Your signal you is being routed. You might take some pictures. Only your signal. But Oh, just the signal, huh? The signal. You I be figured you'd want. have to go and follow it to make sure it was connected. No, this is for people like you who don't want to travel. Oh, well, in that case, expressvpn.com slash JCE. You don't have to go anywhere, and you can still put shit over on people. 